Let's say hypothetically you're wanting to buy a nice beautiful house on a 30 year mortgage. Well, how would you figure out what your payment schedule is? Well, you can use this spreadsheet. Check the description below. You can download it automatically for free. So we're gonna put in cell C2 30. So we're gonna say that this is a 30 year mortgage and we need to find the total number of payments. Well, with mortgages you pay monthly. So we're gonna do 30 times 12. So we find 360 totally total monthly payments. And let's assume that this house you're purchasing is $400,000, okay? So a nice $400,000 home sounds very cozy. The interest rate is gonna be 5% on, you can put in whatever amount the bank is quoting you on that, but we need to find the monthly rate. So it's gonna be 5% divided by 12. So this gets us what is your monthly rate, but now we need to find the monthly mortgage payment. So this is the amount of money that be coming out of your bank account at the end of every month. We're gonna use Excel's inbuilt payment function, so equals PMT. So we're gonna include the monthly rate we just calculated. The total number of periods was just 360. The present value, gotta put a negative sign in there. So negative 400,000, negative cell C4. And then finally the future value, which is gonna be zero because we're gonna pay this loan all the way down to zero, hit enter. So the monthly payment on this mortgage is $2,147.29. But now let's build our amortization table. So let's say this loan starts on April Fool's Day. So April 1st of 2022, I'm gonna put in the first day of the next month. So we're gonna make the assumption that this loan pays on the first day of every month, okay? So this is month one, this is month two. Now I can highlight both of these cells and see how this little uh, crosshairs forms on my mouse. If I go to the bottom right corner of that box, I'm gonna pull it all the way down. So I get 360 periods. So you can see here that on the 360th payment, I'll be all the way in March of 2052. So it is quite a commitment to lock into a 30 year mortgage, okay? So don't buy any houses you don't really want. Um, the principal is gonna be equal to $400,000 initially. And the interest payment is just going to be equal to the principal multiplied by the monthly rate. When you select the monthly rate, make sure to hit cell F4 to lock that cell. Or you can just put the dollar sign in front of the F and in front of the 3. We don't want that to move. So we're seeing that we're going to have to pay an interest payment of $1,666.67. Okay, but the total payment is gonna be equal to this amount. So let's select cell F4, that monthly payment we calculated before, and hit F4 again, the actual key on your keyboard F4 to lock both of those in. You want dollar signs before and after the F. Okay, so we know this is our total payment. We know this much is going to interest. So how much is going to pay down the actual principal? Well, it's gonna be equal to this amount, the total payment, minus how much went to the interest. So we gained that much of home equity in this first month. So the balance at the end of the month is gonna be equal to the initial principal minus how much principal we paid down, okay? And then the next month, starting in the next month, we started with 400,000, but then we, we, went down to this amount. So starting in month two, this will be our beginning principle. But then the rest of these formulas, we can actually just drag down. So you'll see our interest decreased slightly, right? Because the interest that we're multiplying by the principle, that, that principal amount decreased. But the payments stay the same. So the principal that we paid actually increased slightly. But now we can see if I pull this all the way down for the entire schedule, you'll see that towards the end of this mortgage, almost none of the mor monthly mortgage payment is actually going towards interest. It's actually all going towards paying down the principal. So the longer the mortgage goes on, the higher the percent of this payment goes towards paying down the actual principal. Okay, so we can go all the way to the bottom and I'll just show you one thing. So we can see how much interest is actually paid by summing up this entire interest column. So we see that this much interest was paid and how much we paid total is gonna to be if we sum up this column. And then if we find the difference, this should equal 
the uh, total amount of the principal, right? So 400,000, that's how much of the total principal we paid. At the end of the loan, you'll see that this there's nothing left on the mortgage. The balance is zero. And then you can see how this changes. If you purchase, let's say, a more expensive house at $600,000, now your monthly principal payment is, or your monthly mortgage payment is gonna be $3,220. Well, what happens if you increase your uh, monthly rate, 7%? Now you're gonna see that go up even further. So anyways, if you enjoyed the video, please uh, drop a like and consider subscribing, and I guess I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.